from our men of God. Where were they coming from and where are they going? We need to know so that at least we can also strengthen ourselves in our lives. So, Bishop, welcome. Thank you so much. Good and morning. I hope, good morning, I hope you are doing well. Oh, yeah. We can't complain. The work of God is like that. We we'll keep moving. I really like your seat. Thank you. Yeah, that is our yeah. anniversary suit. Oh, okay. Yeah, this for every church member. Most of the church members are having it. Okay. They will be changing it. You watching will be changing it very soon. Mm. Yeah, I think um, 2020, we should be thinking of changing it, getting a new one. Okay. Yeah. Bishop, today we have you uh, here because of uh, we want to know more about you. We want to know more about your ministry. We want to know more about what actually happened in your church because these days we have a lot of pastors a lot of prophets others are teachers others are bishops others are reverend others are pro a lot of people doing different things in their own ministry others even combine their apostle their bishop their reverend and today we want to learn more so that we watching can also advise ourselves where we are going astray we can also keep ourselves and come back but basically, when we say Bishop Bartholomew, who is he? Wow. A very simple person. Um, I look at myself a fortunate human being. Fortunate human being. You know, I always say this. It's always good for your maker to decide who you will become. Okay. Yeah. This one thing I will tell everybody listening. Always allow the, your, your maker to bring your real original self. Mm. Many are living a duplicate life today. Many are living on others' destiny. Okay. Many are also building on others' foundation. So if you see who is sitting here, this is me, and this is what I'm going to do. Ministry, preach the word. But why do I say I'm fortunate? I was wondering... You know, fighting like a man. Okay. I can say I can't say I'm a weak person. Mm -hmm. I can't say I'm the strongest. But I was trying to live my life. Do you see why I said I'm unfortunate? Yeah. I was trying to live my life because as a young man I was aspiring to do I was aspiring to venture into so many things. Yeah. I want to be here. I always I always tell my people, apart from education, I don't want to work under somebody. Because I, I don't have that. Okay. I don't have that in me. It's not, it's not part. I knew it from infancy mm -hmm. that I'm born to be a leader. I led both in Boy Scouts, both in Mount Owa well, during school time. Mm -hmm. And my football team, you know, I, I, those, as a kid, I was having my team. So I kept moving with people. But when I started growing, I noticed that I had to do other mega things. I have suffered trying to establish myself. Mm. We'll, we'll come more into that. But basically, uh, from your background, who brought this man who is doing marvelous in life? Um, first of all, if I go physical, <laughs> that are my parents who God used to bring me to this world. Yes. And the God Almighty who brought me to this world. Mm -hmm. And coming into what I'm doing today, mm -hmm. apart from giving birth to me by my late father, mm -hmm. Chief Benjamin, late Chief Benjamin, or I always call him B O U, Chief B O U. Okay. Chief Benjamin Obai mm -hmm. Ono. Mm, where does he come from? He is from Enugu State, Nigeria. Enugu State. Yeah, precisely from old of local government. That's now an Iri local government. Mm -hmm. For you watching, an Iri local government. I am from Obanko, precisely. Mm -hmm. So if you are watching me, those who know me, I'm mm -hmm. a proper Igbo man, pure Igbo man. Okay. Yeah. So my mother, my father, they are all from the same town. Mm. What's the name of your mom? My was late Madame Grace. Wow, so both are late. Yes. My father died when I was young. I was in GSS3, entering SS1 when my father died. Imagine. Wow. So, <clears throat> that side, I don't like going there because long I was way, me long way, me, long me. way, long yeah. way. It, it was a very difficult moment. Actually, I never planned. It wasn't even my mind that I would preach the gospel. I was thinking of moving. That was the idea of my other brother, their family, moving me to U.S. Okay. to study. Because this brain was something serious that time. Nothing was occupying me at all. Mm -hmm. So all I was focusing on my books, how to get 
what I want to become in this world academically. Mm -hmm. And basically, I want to do science. I wanted to do science. Okay. Yeah. So, the death of my father that made, made me to switch to us. So many people don't know why I became art student. It surprised, it surprised them. Mm -hmm. That from art, from science, I moved because it's full of... All of them are, are very voluminous, but okay. science, you know... You have to go deep. They have to go deep, more practical, more, they also more of people's life, you know. Becoming a doctor is something that you have to concentrate. Yeah. 